So if you have ever had a component that has changes that needed to be published, but you know, and your teammates know that nobody's ever touched it, no edits have been made, well, I might be able to explain what's going on with that. So as you can see, I'm in a library file. I'm on a test page. So I'm going to make a couple frames. We'll turn them into components and we'll go ahead and hit publish. So we're going to publish frame one, frame two. These are newly added. Now let's say that I want to make some edits to frame one, and I'm going to add a little construction fence emoji to the page name. This is great because if anybody else were to jump into this file, they would know that the contents of this page are being worked on. And a lot of teams use this technique because it's really helpful to be able to see at a glance where work is being done in the file. Uh, Figma even mentions this technique of using status emojis in their own documentation. It's very popular and for good reason. I'm going to make my changes to frame one. Let's say, you know, we're just going to add a really basic red stroke. And now we're good to hit publish, right? We've made our changes. We're ready to ship this. Frame one has been modified. You probably noticed that frame two also said it was modified, right? But you saw that I never touched it. I never even selected frame two. So what's going on with that? If I click on frame two, you can see that it says publish changes. What happened here is that I changed the page name and page names and main components on those pages in libraries are related to each other. They're linked up. If I go into the assets, you can see here are my local components and they're organized by page. I've got one test checkbox on that page and then these two components uh, on my test page here. So when this name changes, it's, all, it's like we're changing the name to a folder and that means that components might move, might be uh, organized in different folders. So like a page name change gets treated as a change to that component. It might change where that component lives in the asset panel. And it's super typical for component libraries to spread components out across pages for a similar reason that people use the status emojis, right? This page panel is the only global space, the only global editable space that we have in Figma's UI. And it's really a great sort of summary of the, the contents of a file. So we, we use it for that, right? We use it to talk about the status of work and we use it to show how large or small a file might be. If you see a lot of pages, it, it's fair to expect a lot of content. If you only see a couple pages, you might not expect a whole lot. It's not inherent. Page count isn't inherent to uh, layer count or component count, but still it's a sort of indicator. So if you've ever wasted a bunch of time backtracking through version history or slacking your teammates, trying to figure out if edits were made and who made those edits and when they happened and why, hopefully this demo helped you understand that editing the page name impacts uh, the publication status of your main components and saves you some time next time you're publishing. Now that you're aware, um, I'm not saying to not use status emojis in your pages, but you might want to change the order of operations. Before you hit publish, update the page name, then publish your components from that page. And make sure you're publishing all the components on that page that are supposed to be, because they were impacted. So um, I hope this saves you some stress and some time. Good luck out there.